hey what's up everyone welcome to the bye bye channel today we will see a very important topic called as carbohydrate in this particular video series we will see one by one how carbohydrate play a very important role in the metabolism and we will start with the carbohydrate with their introduction in this particular video so let's see it Carbohydrates are the hydrates of carbon and in this particular group, let us see the definition of carbohydrate. So carbohydrates, they are the polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketones or the substances that yield such compounds on their hydrolysis. So over here, we, we are looking at the example of one of the very important sugar belonging to carbohydrate called as sucrose which is made up of two important sugars called as glucose and fructose. You can see glucose and fructose over here as in their actual molecular form. Both of them are having six carbon in them. Now, let us see the classification of this particular carbohydrate. So, carbohydrates are classified into three groups. The first is called as monosaccharide. The second is called as oligosaccharide and the third one is called as polysaccharide now in all of this you must have seen the saccharide which is derived from a greek word saccharon which actually means sugar now monosaccharides are called in such a manner because they contain a single one sugar unit while oligosaccharides are having two to ten sugar units while in case of polysaccharides, there are more than 10 number of sugar units. So monosaccharides, they are single polyhydroxyaldehyde or ketone unit. Now let us see some of the examples over here that is glucose, which is being one of the famous monosaccharide and the other one which we find from the fruits that is fructose. There are two families of monosaccharide. The first one being called as aldoses, while the other one is called as ketoses. So let us see the examples of aldose over here. This is a three carbon sugar and the example of aldose called as glycerodeide, which is referred as now having three carbon. That's why it is called as aldoriose, while the second example over here is of ketose from the sugar called as dihydroxyacetone. Now, this is again containing three carbon, so we are calling it a keto triose. Now, over here, you can see there is a suffix attached to them called as O's, which literally means sugar. Now, based on the number of carbon atoms, monosaccharides are divided into different categories. If the carbon atoms present in the monosaccharides are three, then that is called as triose. If they are four, then that is referred as tetroses and if they are having five pentoses if six carbon atoms are there then hexoses and if seven carbon atoms are there in a molecule of monosaccharide then it is called as heptoses now let us see the example of aldopentose the very first example of a sugar called as ribose having five carbon and the second example over here we are referring as 2-deoxyribose which is again aldopentose. Now this ribose is present in the important nucleic acid called as RNA while this 2-deoxyribose is present in the very important nucleic acid called as DNA. Now let us see the examples of aldoses. Now as we have seen in the table earlier, we are observing the examples starting from 3 carbon, 4 carbon, 5 carbon and 6 carbon over here. Let us see the very important 3 carbon sugar, deglyceraldehyde, then 4 carbon, then we have erythrose and triose. While in case of 5 carbon, we have ribose, we have arabinose, xylose, and lysose. While in case of 6 carbon, there are many examples, but the most prominent being glucose, mannose, and galactose. Then, if we take the examples of ketoses, 
then there are the examples of starting from 3 carbon we have dihydroxyacetone then for 4 carbon we are having erythrulose while in case of 5 carbon we are having ribulose and xylulose being one of the examples but in case of 6 carbon we are having fructose being the most prominent example over here so this is all about the monosaccharide that we have seen in the carbohydrates in our next particular video, we will see the oligosaccharide and the polysaccharide in the carbohydrate. So if you have liked this particular video, then kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, The BioWay on YouTube and press the bell icon so that you will never miss another update from my channel. Thank you.